I was just wondering what makes certain salts colorful. Let's find out. But before we dive straight into it, we have a big gift for all of you. Baiju's classes and app are now absolutely free. All you have to do is use this code YT free. So go to any of our videos, click on the first link, and over there you will be directed to the Baiju's website. Right? You will see the introductory pack of three sessions, but with a charge. But the moment you use this code YT free, the fee would be waived off, and it's going to be for absolutely free. And this will give you access to use all the premium features, starting from two teacher advantage to one-on-one -on -one guidance from personal mentor, and much more. You can actually choose the topic of your choice and schedule the class as per your convenience. So what are you waiting for? Quickly. Grab this opportunity, I would say, because this is for a limited time period only. So explore learning in the most innovative manner by clicking on that link, and of course by using this magic code that is YT free. All right, let's come back to our today's topic. Salt, right? The word salt directly takes you to the kitchen where we keep our table salt, isn't it? But the world of chemistry has much more to offer. Let's see what do we have over here. Wow, there are so many colorful salts out there. Like for example, you can see blue copper sulfate crystals, pink crystals of cobalt chloride, and much more, right? Well, this one appears to be especially radiant. Look how amazing these salts are! So bright, so colorful, right? Yeah. You know what's more amazing about these vibrant salts is from where they get their color. That is super amazing, actually. Any idea what's giving these salts their color? Think about this one. Make some random guesses. Eventually, we'll be revealing what the reason is. But if you're thinking that these salts are dyed with some chemicals, then you are wrong. So this blue color, pink color, or dark green color of chromium chloride that you see over here, that's not because of some dye, right? So let's try out something fun to find out the actual reason. The first step in our journey is going to heat. The salts that we have. So let's do one thing. Let's take copper sulfate. Let's heat copper sulfate, but not directly. Let's you know take a test tube, and in that test tube, let's take some crystals of copper sulfate and heat it. You can see that the salt is slowly changing its color. Wow! The salt has lost all its color now, and it has turned white. And just for information, it is still copper sulfate and not entirely a new salt. So what's happening? Well, well, well. Any idea that you have in your mind? How did this salt go from a vibrant blue to something plain white? While, of course, while still remaining copper sulfate. Think about this one. Can you figure out what's the secret reason behind this? What is happening over here? Confused. Okay, let me do something. Let me give you another hint, and this hint will definitely tell you what's happening due to heat. So, your next hint is the true chemical nature of the salt. The chemical formula for copper sulfate is CuSO4 dot 5H2O, and of course, we all know this is blue in color. For cobalt chloride, CuCl2 dot 6H2O, and this is pink in color. And finally, we have dark green chromium chloride, CuCl3 dot 6H2O, and you know the color by now. Now look at these salts that we have and the chemical formula. Do you notice a pattern? Okay, let me underline that for you. Do you notice any pattern? I know what's popping in your head. Now I'm sure you know the reason behind the colorful hues that you see. Yes. Well, it is clearly due to the presence of ta. -da! It is water. To be more specific, it is the water of crystallization. Now, when we were talking about the salt being heated previously, obviously I told you that it's still copper sulfate, right? Only the color is changing. So what was happening then was the water of crystallization in the salt vaporized, leaving behind the anhydrous version of the salt. Now, what exactly is this water of crystallization? Well, it refers to the molecules of water that are actually chemically linked to the structure of a salt crystal. Now. Why is this happening? This is happening because the salt has a very flexible crystalline structure, and it actually allows you know the water molecules to be bonded easily, and that's how it becomes hydrated. Great, right? And you know, once these salts are actually hydrated, the properties, 
the physical properties are bound to change. Now, the molecules of water that you see over here, they are chemically bonded to the molecules of salt. And that's why they're exhibiting, you know, different color, different texture. And of course, the strength is also changing. Just imagine what all can water of crystallization do, right? Okay, but, 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 mind you, this is not as simple as adding salt to water, right? When you mix like water to salt or when you add salt to water, the salt just gets dissolved. There is no color change happening. So I hope you've understood the concept of water of crystallization. All right, till now I hope everything is crystal clear. But you remember when we were heating the salt, what happened? The structure, the crystalline form was in a way changing to the powder form. Of course, this was an indication of water of crystallization. But there are other salts that share the appeal of color without the water of crystallization as well. Can you guess the reason behind this now? If yes, if you are curious enough, if you are inquisitive enough, find this out and post your answers in the comment section below. We'll be waiting for your guesses. And I hope you've understood why the salts are colored by now. All right, with this, there's a gentle reminder of the gift that we were talking about. All you have to do is use this code YT free, and by doing that, you will be able to actually avail all the premium features that we have for you. So by Juice Classes and App, they are going to be for absolutely free. This is a limited time period offer, so don't forget to avail this. This is the magic code. That's why we are repeating it so that you make sure to add this code YT free. By doing that, the fee would be waived off. And yes, the sessions would be there for you according to whatever topic you want, according to whatever time you want, as per your convenience, because your convenience is what matters to us the most. So go ahead and avail all the premium features. And yes, do share your experience with us in the comments section below. All right, so I hope now you know why some salts are colored. And if you found this video informative and interesting, quickly hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you super soon.